Tell me if you've ever done something like this. You're scrolling through a website and you see an awesome animation that would fit perfectly in your new project. You open up your IDE, you spend like four or five hours and you just end up with something that's nowhere even close to the original thing that you were going for. You get sad, or if you're like me, you get angry. I guess the front end gods just didn't bless me with the skills to do this one. But of course that's not true. Like anything, and I know it's cliche, but it just takes time. Forcing myself to learn is a big reason why I started making these videos, to be honest with you. Some of you kind humans seem to think that I know what I'm doing, but don't worry, I'm still an imposter in my own mind. A while back, like mid imposter syndrome attack, I was kind of ruminating on how hard all of this front end stuff still is to learn and build, especially the animation and interaction side of stuff, which is especially interesting to me. There's really just gotta be a better way than everyone trying to figure out the same things over and over and over over again. And I think that I just might have come up with one. Introducing hover.dev. Well, kind of introducing, it's been out for like three months, thousands of people have already used it, but I have yet to make a full video on it. So yeah, that's today, I guess. So Hover is a component library for React and Tailwind CSS. Most of the animations are made with frame or motion where every component in the library has an interesting animation or interaction. From full hero sections, to buttons, to carousels, to dark mode toggles, to just about anything else, you can just go over to Hover, find something that you like, drop it in your project, and you're ready to go. If you're lazy like me, 95% of the time, you can kind of just run it as is. And if you want to learn from them, you can reverse engineer the components to figure out how they work and build on top of them or build something else similar. Let's do an example. Pretend you're starting from scratch, building a landing page for a newsletter, let's say. I'll head over to components, then to nav bars and menus, and I'll just play around a bit, see which one I like. And for now, I'm going to keep it simple and just go with this one with a little flippy nav thing. I'll grab the code, either in JavaScript or TypeScript, and drop it into a new file in my project. I want my website in dark mode, so I'll take a minute to understand the component and go through and adjust all the colors and everything. The nav items also kind of don't make sense for me, so I'll change those to match and I think that looks good. I'll go back over to hover and I'll head into the hero sections page. Same thing, play around a little bit, find one that you like. I like this one because it's already kind of set up like a newsletter, so I'll just go with that one. I'll drop it in my code, adjust a couple of things, and that looks like a pretty good start to me. We can spice it up even more by using supplemental components instead of like full sections. I want like a memorable, brandable button that will really stick in people's minds, and I think that this drippy paint button fits pretty well. Again, grab the code, adjust it a little bit, change the colors to match, stuff like that, and we are on our way to a super cool landing page. If there's something that you wish Hover had, maybe something you saw on another website, you can even suggest new components to be added to the library. Just hit this little lightning bolt icon and that will ping me with your ideas. No promises, I am only one person after all, but the goal is to build something awesome for you guys and there's no really better way to do that than with your input. So my primary focus is and has been for the last several months to build Hover into something awesome. Going into the future, I don't really want Hover to be just components. Eventually, I would like for it to include like courses and portfolio resources and templates and like design inspiration and a million other things. Like I have so many different ideas for what this could eventually be, but boiled down, I guess I really just want Hover to become an awesome resource for anything that you could possibly need for building cool front end web apps. A large chunk of the components on Hover are free and I absolutely plan on keeping it that way, but Hover is a paid product if you want to unlock all of the components. As of right now, it's only $37 USD. That's like a one-time payment. It's not like a recurring thing. You're not gonna get billed again next month or something if you were to buy it. And I am absolutely trying to keep the cost as low as I possibly I can for as long as I can. I mean, like other comparable libraries that I've seen are at minimum like $100 and some of them are quite a bit more than that. Really the main thing though, is I've been making these videos now for over a year between YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and other platforms. And I never want to have to like run an ad for a crappy VPN or something that I don't believe in. I'd much rather have a product that I built where I'm putting myself on the line that I truly believe in as a way of getting a community to support me as opposed to having to go out and like, you know, shill some product that is being shilled all over the place wherever. Anyways, I genuinely do thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to keep learning about how to build cool stuff on the web, a like and a subscribe would mean the world to me, like genuinely. Links in the description for Hover and where to find me on other platforms. And and uh, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.